Is something wrong? This castle. It's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The wicked queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. I mean, it's not like we could use your help or anything, you know? I'm fine on my own. You know, I can do this. Also, I love the exaggerated way that they open chests and... Er, the giant chests in this game. I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> Pignet basket. Get the Pignet basket sticker. Nice. I swear that has to be done on purpose. I can't think of anything else. Alright, and obviously it's meant to be placed right there. Pignet basket. We're gonna have a pignet. Pignet, am I saying that? Is this supposed to be pignet basket? Something like that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just spewing crazy words. Alright, let's let's keep on trucking. Oh, let me check out all this. All this stuff. Hmm. Can I not meld the blizzards together? I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Thinking I can't do that. Alright. Alright, poison. Go ahead. Whatever. Whatever. Got magic haste too, which is extremely useful for Aqua since most of her attacks are just going to be playing magic commands instead of just hitting. <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, oh wow! I never heard that sound effect before. I don't know why. I hear it now. I guess that's cool. Oh, look at that damage! Look at the damage! <laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh, hi, what's up? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, you thought wrong. And poison. That works. Alright. Hey, what's up? My blizzard, thunder, and poison, just for good measure. Hmm. I think you get more iframes from the level up cartwheel. So, iframes are invincibility frames for the the noobs. Sorry, I gotta call you noobs, but I mean, you gotta use cartwheel, guys. You gotta start using cartwheel and block and all that. It's useful. It's there for a reason. It isn't there just to look fancy. That you're actually supposed to dodge attacks in this game, guys. Believe it or not. A lot of you got. A lot of you are like blocking attacks. <laughs> That's for pussies. Only real men just mash the X button. Let's hit that. Yes! Explosion! Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, wow, finally it leveled up. Thank you. Let's hit that. Ah. Go! Go, young child. Alright, I know I'm not gonna make it, but 
we just beat the crap out of these guys. So that way, the next time I come through, I will... I won't have any trouble. There we go. I love how the hitboxes in, the, in this game are just like... They're so irregular. I think that's the reason why there's a lot of clip damage in this game. And when I say clip damage, it means like, you know... It doesn't look like that they got a hit in, but they do instead just because the attack hitbox kind of went before the animation. So just, yeah, weird stuff like that, which kind of... It kind of pisses me off because, you know, a lot of people are like, Hey, let's do no damage challenges, and you know, with all, these, all this clippage and all that, you know, it's difficult. It pisses people off. I mean, I particularly, I don't know. I'm not a no damage person, you know. There are people out there, Masa Blade, Pacey, Biscuit04. I think he's retired from, you know, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I don't know. And there's Mikachu, of course. I can't forget Mikachu, like the best Kingdom Hearts player ever. He's like my idol, brah. Look up to him. I look up to the silent guys, the guys that don't really say much, but, you know, they show, uh,. Who they are through their actions. They don't need anything else. Just, hey, check out how awesome I am. That's all. Because that's really all you need to say. Alright, got fire. Awesome. Now I think I can buy it and also, of course, use it. Because I don't really like... Oh wow, slow's finished up. Oh, let's just put that right there. I think I'm going to be using slow for something else so I can get a certain something something. But yeah, let's see. I'm going up this way now. That I've gotten to get that little fire thingy. And now we're getting ever so closer to the boss. Thank you. Let's kill these bitches. <laughs> I remember that from Dane Cook. I actually, uh, I have that in my car now. Oh, I guess I didn't really tell you guys. I'm driving now, if you didn't already know. Some of you may have seen my streams, but yeah. I be driving on the road. Having fun. Playing the tunes. Playing taxi driver for my sister. Just so she can get on my nerves even more. I mean, we have our brother-sister moment, but then, you know, all of a sudden, she decides... Like, I I'm a little late or something to uh, get up. Like, she gets pissed at me for no reason. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, I don't know. She says, hey, it's time to go. Let's uh, let's go to school or something like that. And I was like, o okay, okay, I'll get there. I just need to, you know, get my socks on or something like that. And I listen to, uh, I don't know, Weapon of Choice, because Christopher Walken in that music video is awesome. And then she comes in and she's like, hey, let's go. And then later on she's like, she, she makes these snarky remarks just because she's mad at me. And I'm just like, wow, you're a bitch today. And she's like, what? 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 I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. So you know what I have to deal with. They're just those days. They're those days. No, don't target onto that. But yeah, man, driving. I don't know. Some people don't like it. I just love the freedom of it. You know, I'm confined to my basement. If I if, if I forget something between houses, you know, bringing like a, a certain thing that I need to stream, like my dazzle. If I, like I forget that, I'm like, okay, mom, we need to like get a time in order for me to go over there. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm just like, okay, mom, I'll be back in like two seconds. Let me just get my shit over the other house. I don't have to wait for her. I can just do shit myself. And it's just so empowering. Yes! Freedom! The open road! Even though it's not so open. The road isn't just there for you. I don't know. I had to take driver's ed, too. I know a lot of people have to do it. Our driver's ed teacher was just... It was real simple. I mean, we, uh, like, there there were, like, two driver's ed teachers, and I, I know both of those teachers, like, as teachers today. And I kind of wish I had the other one, but the one that I had was pretty awesome, too. He's a cool guy. He's like a... What is he? He's almost like a geologist, but he is, uh, like, an Earth space uh, science teacher. Like, stuff like astronomy and geology and all that. He teaches that. And the way he teaches, 
it's kind of easy mode for us because this was sophomore year that I had that teacher. And what he would do is he, uh, like, three, day, uh, three days a week or something like that, we would take notes in our note packet. And, like, on that fourth day or something like that because we have, like, we have uh, each class four days a week because we have, like, block schedule. But, you know, one of the days is, like, almost two days time, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, on that, on that day where it's, like, two days time where we have all that extra time, we do, like, labs and shit. And then when the test finally comes... After we've done, after we filled out our packet, which is like a huge amount of points, then we we can use the packet on the test, and it's pretty awesome. So I had that guy for a driver's ed teacher, and I don't know, he was pretty awesome. But then uh, the teacher that I have to this year for what is it, pre-calc, uh, Mr. He was the other teacher, and God, he's a legend. Everyone at our school, I mean, not even exaggerating, everyone knows him. He's just like the, he's the cool, he's just a cool guy, but he just, he bends your mind. Like, he makes you think a little differently, like, you know, we know how to do, like, a process of, you know, doing stuff, like, in math, but then he's all like, hey, uh, why do we do this? And we're like, oh my god, I've never even thought of that. All these other teachers are just like, hey, let's do this. Forget about the theory and everything, let's just do the process. And I'm just like, Wow. This, this this brightens my mind up. This actually makes me enjoyed to be in this class. It just makes me feel awesome. Something's not right. And yes, this is a huge cop-out on Enix's part. Aqua and Terra have the same exact boss for, dwar for Dwarf Woodlands. Not even exaggerating. The same exact guy. Maybe one of a couple attacks are different, but the same exact... That is so, that is so lazy. Where they're just like, okay, we can't, we can't do this. We can't come up with an idea for Dwarf Woodlands. Let's just use the same boss over, alright? They won't, they, they won't care, you know? It'll be cool for a change. No. That is just lazy. That's what that is. Okay, so it's basically the same process as Terra. So we're just gonna reflect all that because we can do that. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna be like, hey, what's up? You are f***ed now. Rats indeed, motherfucker. Oh, sweet, he got hit by it. He ran into it. Awesome. Oh, 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 did something hit you in the eye, huh? Anything? How about now? How about you stay down? How about you don't even try? Just, just. How about I just end up killing you? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Oh, crap. I think I'm getting a little cocky now. Get a little cocky. Why, why am I why am I cartwheeling? Let's let's just let's just run. There's no need to do, there's no need to do all the extra work. That's just wearing down on my thumb. Okay, no. 